Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is D Car Lady with Team D Car Lady. All right, coming to you today, I'm going to show you how to add an image in Builderall. All right, so go ahead and stay tuned. Stick it around to the end because I have a super cool bonus for you, as always, right? But look, if you pay attention throughout the video, all right, somewhere I'm going to actually say a secret password, all right? And you're going to need that password so that way you can get that free bonus. All right, so let's go ahead, get to the training. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you, all right? So we can go ahead and talk about this, how to add an image to build role. All right, so we're gonna go to our build role account. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit builders up top, then go to drag and drop pixel perfect. And we're gonna go to, we're just gonna go to uh, my sites, all right? Cause I'm just gonna use one of my demo sites to uh, show you how to do it, all right? So we're gonna let that pull up. All right, and the site that we're going to play with today, right, is this one right here. So let me scroll down a little bit. All right, so that way we can uh, go ahead and edit this site. So you wanna hit this uh, blue button right here with the little pencil so we can get over here and edit it. And we'll just let that go ahead and populate and come on up for us. All right, and we got the site up here, all right. Now, uh, on this particular one, this is a template, right? So we already have an image. And that's not a problem, all right, because we're gonna go ahead and add an image, and then I'm gonna actually show you how to edit it a little bit, because you know when you add an image, you gotta do something to it, right? So first we need to go ahead and create some space so we can uh, add an image down here. So let's go ahead and create some space. Let me move this out of the way, all right? And to do that, we're going to get this little blue arrow, push down, because basically we're pushing everything down on a page, just so we can create some space. Now we come back, click in the open space area here, and then drag it up closer, and then go back to the arrow and pull it up to the top so it snaps, right? Now we're gonna have some space at the bottom. See, we got some space, so that way we can go ahead and add an image. All right, so we're gonna click on this area here because that's where we're gonna add the image, right? Go over here to the uh, plus button, all right? And then we're gonna go down to image, all right? And then don't worry about it, don't, don't get freaked out. I was freaked out the first time I saw this when I started um, learning to use Builderall. I was like, man, I don't want that image. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and choose the image here, all right? Because we're going to uh, edit it to whatever image you want. All right, and click over here on the, um, just the white space over here just to get you know that little tab out the way. All right, and now we're just going to leave this right here for just a moment because we're gonna go ahead and grab our other image. So you're gonna click on the image, right? Just what's so highlighted with the green around the outside, like it is, all right? We're not worried about it um, being covered up by the uh, footer right now. We're gonna take care of it, don't worry. So go ahead and then hit right click. You're gonna hit right click button, right? Because now what we need to do is we need to change the image because we don't want an image of the rock. That's just not what we want. So we're gonna go to change image and we're gonna put in whatever image we want, right? All right, so let's do it. And we're gonna let that pull up on um, whatever images we already have. And we'll see if we need to choose another one, and that's fine. All right, so it pulled up uh, some of the images that we already have um, already saved to build a row, and that's fine. So we could choose one of these, or if you need to pull one off of your computer, you can do that just by hitting the uh, upload button right up here. It says upload, and you can actually upload it from your computer. So you'd open it up, choose you know whatever folder you want, and choose the um, image. And in this case, I'm just gonna choose one because it's just for um, demonstration purposes. So let's go ahead and double click that. And as you see, it's gonna start uploading here, it has the percentage and letting you know the uh, progress on that. So we're gonna let that go ahead and completely upload and then we'll move forward. All right, so as you see, this is downloaded. Now everything's good to go. And if you want to choose that image or whatever image you wanna choose, you just go ahead and click on it. All right, and that's gonna put the blue check mark there and that'll let you know that, hey, you can use that image. So let's just uh, go ahead and use that image since we chose it, right? So go ahead and hit confirm, all right? And that's gonna pull up the image here and now this is when we're gonna adjust the size on the image, okay? So we see here, like we grab it and drag it, right? It's uh, too big, no problem. So go ahead and you'll see this little green dot over here, this one over here and this one over here. You can choose either one but you want to click on it and drag, right? Just to kind of uh, resize the image, all right? To whatever you want. And we'll put it here because it fits nicely, that's fine. Right, and now at this point right here, you know, if you're done with the image, then you're good to go. But if you want to edit it, um, the image itself, you sure can click on it and then right click 
to bring this uh, back up. And there's some different things you can uh, do with it if that's what you need to do. So let's just go down some of these really quickly. External images, like if you have an image on another hosting uh, service where you can use a link to get that image. So that's not what we're doing, so we don't need that. So uh, we right click again. You can do the transparency of the image. All right, so you click that, and if you take this little uh, bar over here, start going to the left, you see how it gets light, 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 until it like disappears, right? So you can change that if you want, okay? That's the transparency. Right click it again. Um, you can do the, uh, you can make it a hover effect, so that way something can, uh, you know, when someone hovers over it with their mouse, you can do it that way. It'll pull this up, um, and it'll actually say whatever words you put in the title, so, Let's say if I just say, say something, right? Just so you can see, and you would enable it here. It says enable hover, if that's what you want to do for that image. And going down, you see you can change the size, uh, the overlay color by clicking there, if that's what you choose to do. Um, uh, the font, the mouse hover over, any of these colors that you want to, want to uh, choose, you can go ahead and do that. For instance, like the overlay, if you wanted to change the color to like, green you know i wouldn't but if you did right you could do that so let's go ahead and it lets you know what it'll what it'll do when someone hovers over with their mouse like i'm hovering over it and it's green and it says say something right because <laughs> that's what i told it to do um but that's like i said that's if that's what you want it to do is uh have something like that you could do that and change it out if you want all right so we'll go ahead and confirm that okay and once again, if you want to change this like any any more, you want to click on it and then right click and, and go down each list. Edit image title if you want to have some type of animation where you can make it bounce up and down. And so it's a lot of different things that you can do here as well. All right, and you can set that. Now, one thing I do want to show you, because uh, this is something that I ran across uh, when I was first working with uh, Builder Raw Funnels, and it kind of tricked me up. So let me show you something. All right, first. I'm gonna move this image. I'm gonna grab it and drag it. I'm gonna move it up here, like in, you know, in front of this image here, right? Because sometimes you'll have an image in front of some words or in front of something, right? And you're like, well, man, I don't want it to be in front. I want it to be in back. So there's a way that you can actually do that. So you go to the image that you want to um, change up. So let's go to this one, click it, and then right click it. And keep in mind, every time that we're clicking it, it's just so we can highlight whatever element it is. And in this case, the element is the picture. That's the only reason we're clicking it. The right click is to make uh, the uh, options come up like we have here. So what, what we need to do, right, if we want to make this image, like, basically be behind this other image, all right, you would go here and you would deal with the layers, okay? And you see it's different layers, and this is already going to be stock, so there's different things you can do. Like you can click the layers here and go back here. You can click them more than once and that's gonna make it go behind. You see, I just, I just clicked the uh, right ones more than once. And let me click off here so you can see. And now you see that part of the image is sitting behind this one. Cause there are times when you'll want to uh, do that. So you can play around with that um, and, and edit that and always go back. You know, if that's what you wanna do, I just click this one right here just to, Kind of take it back to the way it was in front all right so that's definitely um something important because that one uh, it took me a minute to figure that one out um but anyhow um hopefully you guys have found some value uh with this uh video on how to add an image to build row all right please do a like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel show me some love right and hit the bell right next to it so that way you can be alerted the very next time i come out with some new content because i'm definitely coming out with new videos every single week to show you how to increase your business and increase your money making abilities online all right now let's go ahead and talk about these bonuses in just a minute um but first and foremost the link that you're going to see um right above the description that first link above the uh, description is going to be the link to my number one ma money making opportunity online so if you want to check that out go ahead and hit the first link um, above the description now if you do want to go ahead if you have not signed up for build a roll um, I definitely suggest you do right and if you want to go ahead and join my team at build a roll do hit the link that's definitely below the description okay there's going to be a link for you to join my build a roll team and rock out with me right all right but also let me go ahead and give you some bonuses. First, let me give you the keyword. You need the secret secret password, right? You need secret password. The secret password is a vacation, right? A vacation, okay? Because this is how you're going to get your free bonus. 
all right? All you're gonna need to do is I'm gonna put a cell phone number down below and you just text the word vacation, okay? To that cell phone number and you're actually going to receive a complimentary vacation to Orlando, Florida. That's right, it's, it's no tricks, no gimmicks. A complimentary vacation to Orlando, Florida. Compliments of the car lady, right? Just because you hung in there with me till the end, right? So definitely go ahead and take take a look at that. And so that way you can get it, take advantage of that free vacation, right? Let's go ahead and do it. But other than that, guys, I definitely appreciate you. This has been D car lady with team D car lady. And you already know what we came to do. What we came to do. We're going to take this ride to the top, baby. All right. And I'm out.